Today, I'm going to give you the roadmap to getting all the best and easiest legendary weapons, armor, and the fastest way you're going to be able. We're going to go from level one up to level 35 weapons, armors, that is going to make you very OP really fast. It's also going to be saving you a lot of frustration. I hope you enjoyed this video as I put together this ultimate guide that is going to guide you for each section so you are able to move and progress through the game the way it's supposed to be eventually you're going to become very op i'll also give you some tips that are going to help you as you are trying to get a different type of legendary weapons the golden chest the silver chest they have the best loot so let's dive into this video and let me show you the first location right from the beginning and we'll move on from there one of the first chests that you can find right from the beginning is going to be right from the home base from this location glide your way through if you don't have the glider you can always walk through it and it's going to be located on the other side of this mountain and it's going to be right here and there it is this is where you probably will find your first chest okay the next two chests are going to be located around this section i'm gonna pull up the map and it's, you're going to try to land from this section try to find a very high point such as the red wool fast travel and then just make your way try to land up here there you go and then the location is going to be down there now with all this different type of chests Remember that you can always, you can always farm them by placing a flame altar. And then you can just re rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until you get whatever um, item you want or whatever you are farming. So we're going to go this way. What we got to do is we need to go to an entrance, which is right here. You're going to go through this hole that is here, drop down. So you drop the, down this hole, just go down, 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 and there's going to be two different chests that you're going to be able to get. The first chest is actually down here. You got it dropped. And this one is located right here. So your center point is follow the blue line. That's all you got to do. Follow that blue line and that blue line takes you to a gold chest. And that is one of the chests that you're going to be able to get from this location. And once we get here, it's all the way till the end. There you go. So we got one right here. Let's see what we got. Check it out. Legendary. Let's go. So if you are early game, you can become very OP right away. As I mentioned, you can always set a altar up there and just keep farming this two chests until you reach a certain level. And then from there, you can move on to the next um, locations that I'm going to be providing you so you can become OP as you are progressing through the game. And then eventually, actually this location, it's right here. There you go come through here make a right see becomes really really blindfold right here there you go and then from here the other chest is located um, on the left side you just got to kill the shroud you get your additional skill point and is located up here there you go there you go just go up here and then you're going to be able to find my game froze oh something's wrong here my game froze <laughs> there you open it and what let's go another legendary and the ghost shield level 11 take it and there you go those are the two different chests you're going to be able to locate once again let me show you where exactly it is it's going to be by this shroud route if you don't have this unlocked just come through here you're going to be able to get that another um, point is going to be the willow crush go there you can also find the ring of rapacity and then you can come from the ancient spire rebel wood fast travel or whatever fast travel you have the closest now let me show you the next op location that you're going to be able to find gold chests legendary weapons and armor 
this next one if you make your way up on the left side and just keep going as you see here we're going to coming from the rebel wood fast travel and we're going to drop in this location let me get more more air so we can go higher make sure we get there there you go one shot perfectly so in this location you're going to be able to get one amazing chest um, that is really going to give you a lot so all you got to do is just come through here all right so once you make your way up you go through here go up here and the chest will be located from this location and there you go do the grapple hook and then this chest is right behind all of this so break all of this to get through it and then there it is and just open it and here you're going to be able to get those different type of um, armor such as like the wizard boots and many other ones but now let me show you the next best legendary chest location next up we have three amazing chests and these ones are going to be located around this location i'm gonna show you here really quickly you got the glen woods in on the top and then you have this flame santrum here the shroud rude and to give you another point cave entrance the mark of the summit best way probably to get from here is here's the abandoned hunter camp come from these fast travel rebel wood just go all the, all the way here and then eventually you're going to end up over here now from here just follow along i already cleared everything so all i have to do is just show you make a quick left and then go here there you go we got double jump we don't need to use our hook to be able to get around all these places and actually you can find amber here if you're looking for that to upgrade your items there it is there's amber that you can get okay somehow i couldn't climb that little hill <laughs> look at this what's going on game all right so we go up here and then there you go and just make our way downtown through here kill the shroud root that's here clear everything and then from here is where you're going to find the three chests and they're actually really close by first one is going to be here the next one is oh, let me kill all these people they want to make a party with me no party guy no party no partying today now next one is going to be here there you go open it and this number two look at this they're actually really high end so you're looking at level 15 look at that nice level 15 and then your last one's going to be located here oh a legendary short bow let's go look at that so it actually what level is this let me see double 15 17 power not bad right so i think you can go up there and set up a uh, fast travel and then just come jump here do all these three chests and then just keep farming them and then you get very op level 15 now let me show you the next level of legendary gear that you're going to be able to find the next one is going to be in this fan song frontier there's actually a really good chest that you can farm set up a fast travel point outside the tower not close enough to the chest so it can spawn over and over once again all you got to do is go into your image uh go into your main men menu exit to the main menu and then come back in and do it again rinse and repeat and that is how you're going to be able to farm all this chest this particular chest all by itself is really good another location that is good is down here where it is in the uh, thorn hole you have three different chests which are going to give you a different type of inventory legendary weapons and things like that those three chests are really good in thorn hold and then i'm showing you here all the different chests that you're able to grab from these three sections which is very easy if you do it fast and you're going to be able to get that um so try to those do those and those are probably, i believe level 17 and you're going to be able to rank up and level up really fast so after you do those two different chests now we're going to be moving up a little bit higher to a more high tier legendary armors and legendary weapons that we're going to be able to find 
and we're going to make ourselves more towards the middle and east side of the map one tip i want to give you is that make sure you are always unlocking all your fast travel from your asian spires here on this one it's very crucial like the nomad highlands is a fast travel that is going to get you just about anywhere around this location now from here there is one chest you can pretty much just farm it and it's very easy all you have to do is just drop down there and it's a legendary chest a gold chest and you'll see right now there you go see that and this you could do over and over and this is a level 20 and i'll show you where it is in the map once again it's located here you can always come through here through this location as you walk your way through there it is the ancient spire unlock it and then you can farm this chest over and over and you don't need that fast travel saved so it makes it very convenient if you just want something really quick this is probably one of the best locations that is going to get you that really fast another great location is going to be one of the sun temples if you pull up your map it's going to be this one not this one that's over here which is probably the best location which i'll show you first where all the different chests are from the this here uh, the sun temple and i'll also show you how to get to this location after that i'm going to show you this sun temple
Now that you've went to the other sun temple, you already have the best glider that you can get right now in the game. And you're going to be able to make this entire flight all the way here to this sun temple. Now, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. One of them is going to go into your inventory and make sure you have the following ring, ring of rapacity, which you can find the link in my description, and also a ring that is going to regenerate your stamina because we are about to travel a lot. I set a very high point, which is going to be right here in my map. Where is this, this location? Or if you have this open, you can also make the jump from this Asian Spire. So we're just going to go from here and we're going to be using our stamina as you will be able to see that from here. And I'll just fast forward this that way I don't bore you and we'll just get to the section where I need to show you. OK, so as we are making our way through here, you either go right or left. So we're going to go right. And all you have to do is to get infinite gliding is hit your reset it and reset back use your boost and then you're going to be able to get this really quick and then you're going to be landing right below the temple so all you have to do is just drop down make sure those little big birds don't get you and then once we are here it's very easy guys you do not need to be able to fight all you have to do is just come here there is this over here that you can read so you can open up your lore and find new discoveries. And then on top of this, you also have this here that you can get the desert temple blocks, which is something cool if you don't have it. Then after this, you just make your way down here and this chest is going to be located right here. And then that's it. That's all you got to do. And to do this, if you want to keep farming this, just set a fast travel. And the next one is going to be none other than the Shroud of a Weaver. This one is a ranged weapon. Even though after the update from level 35, now it's a level 25, you still are able to upgrade it. It did get a somewhat of a nerf, but still at the same time, it's still the best legendary range weapon that you can get and you can get it by going pulling up your map and if you have the ancient spire kindle waste fast travel available or if you even have the sun temple here on the bottom left you can always make it and you are seeing here where exactly i'm going to land and you can make it as long as you have the best ghost legendary glider you're going to be able to make it once you get there, then you're going to be able to acquire. Just make sure you have the glider that's going to take you all the way here. Now, a couple of bonuses are going to be one is in your map. If you pull it up, it's going to be by this location was called Far Away Frey Travert. This location here has a couple of chests. And as you're able to see here in the map, there's one here and there's another one, a couple of gold gold chests. And there is one which is on this marker it is a hidden chest. The other location is going to be up north to the right side, which is on the east side. And then there is a couple of chests. There's a boss in this location, but there's a couple of chests that you can get. This you're going to be able to get here if you have the legendary ghost glider because you're going to be able to fly over the fog. Now, all of these items you're going to be able to get if you have your tavern, your flame altar to level strength three, you're going to be able to do all of it. There is some locations such what you're seeing over there in the front, those you would not, you would need to be uh, level six or five on your altar to be able to go in there because the fog is deadly and it's going to kill kill you right away. But it is that actually is not. This is one of the things that the game needs to improve on because it doesn't really matter if you go there because all these other locations that I just provided to you are better or probably as good as that those locations. So there you go. That is the complete ultimate guy on all the legendary weapon armor locations 
that you're going to be able to get if you are at level three on your flame altar. Hopefully this video is very helpful. If it did, consider subscribing to the channel. Turn notifications to all. We'll see you all guys 